Hello, Ben here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be discussing tips for replacing the spark plugs on this 2020 Kia Sportage. If you haven't done so already, please check out my video, Secrets to Planning and Auto Repair. Now let's get started. So you might ask, what are some of the common signs of bad spark plugs? Well, you could be having startup trouble, rough idling, sluggish acceleration, declining fuel economy, engine misfiring, and engine knocking. So when you press on the gas really hard, you're trying to go uphill and you hear this knocking sound, that could be a sign that your spark plugs are bad. Now let's move on to the supply list. Today I'm recommending the Denso spark plug. It's an Iridium TT spark plug. It's a high performing spark plug, highly recommended. It's the only one that I use when, um, whenever applications allow for it. Right here we have a 10, 10 millimeter socket. We have a 5 8 inch socket. This is for the removal of the spark plugs. We have a extension for the spark plug removal. And then we have a 3 8 inch ratchet for the spark plug removal. I also have a piece of rubber hose here. I find this extremely helpful when removing spark plugs. Please refer to other items shown in the description below. Now let's move on. Let's go ahead and remove our engine cover and locate our spark plugs. So you remove the cover here, there's four corners. Carefully remove this cover. Just place it right here. And what you see before you are four spark plug coils. One, two, three, and four. And so your spark plugs are found located at these locations. For demonstration purposes today, I'll be using this location. So at this time, go ahead and locate your 10 millimeter socket, and you're going to loosen up the coil by undoing this bolt right here. Set that off to the side. Now, you, now you're gonna carefully, without bend, breaking these wires, just open, pull out the coil. When you're looking at the coil, what you're gonna do is you're gonna inspect the inside of this coil to see if it's rust. This coil is in excellent condition. It's a fairly new vehicle. I don't see any cracks here. Also, you wanna uh, check the condition of the dust cover. Make sure that the dust cover is in place. This dust cover is in Looks excellent. This coil is fully functional. I'm simply gonna set it off to the side. Now let's go ahead and remove those spark plugs. Okay, spark plug is loose. Now I'm gonna use this to slide down onto the spark plug. push down on it, boom, there you go. You have your spark plug. Notice the condition of the spark plug. What you're gonna do is you're gonna inspect the, the electrode on the spark plug, and this one's in excellent condition. You're also going to check the porcelain insulator right here. This is also in excellent condition. Now let's go ahead and replace this plug. Before I replace this plug, I'm always going to inspect the condition of the porcelain insulator for cracks. And I'm gonna put a little dielectric grease on here. Now what that dielectric grease does, it does two things. It prevents um, arcing. If this were to become cracked and start arcing, it will minimize the arcing and prevent damage from the more expensive part. Okay, so that's the first thing it does. The second thing it does is that when you put that grease on there, it will illuminate the cracks if there are any cracks in here. And if there's any cracks, you wanna throw this away. But this was in perfect condition, so let's go ahead and replace it.
notice when I install the spark plug that I did not use a wrench. I only use my hands. Anytime you're installing an item into this into the engine block, you always start with your hands. At this point, I'm just simply going to tighten it up, keeping the the extension in the center of the hole. Not here, no, right here. And I'm gonna put about 12 foot pounds of pressure on here. That's it, notice my hands. I'm only using my hands, not this. Okay. My coil pack is already inspected, so I simply need to replace it. Check, make sure my wires are fine. Check my plug. Notice I'm using my hand. Now I'm using the wrench. Notice my fingers. Okay, this wraps up the spark plug replacement at this location right here. If you want to complete the entire job, you would do the same thing here, here, and here. All right, at this time, this wraps up the removal and replacement of the spark plugs on the 2020 Kia Sportage. I hope you found my tips to be helpful, and as always, please drive defensively.